Keeping laboratory animals like rats for use in experiments is an expensive process for researchers, but these moth larvae may solve that particular problem. Biosystems technology scientists say the larva they are producing can be a stand-in for more expensive mammals. So you can actually screen huge panels of uh, potential antibiotics, for example, and you can screen them at an early stage and you can identify compounds that may have efficacy, so they actually have activity against a bacterial pathogen, or you can screen compounds for toxicity. And you can't do those, that scale of an experiment using mammals. The promise has always been out there. But the problem is that no one was breeding larvae specifically for use as product testers. Everybody who used the larvae had to actually buy them as fishing bait. So they would have to go online to, fish, like to tackle shops or stop off at their local pet shops and buy you know, tubs of grubs that they used in the lab for their research. These larvae, called Galeria, are different. They have a uniform size, weight and age, and are decontaminated and bred without the use of any hormones or antibiotics. We breed them from a defined genetic background, so um, they, you know, we've genome sequenced the, um, the breeding colony, um, and so we know that all the larvae come from the same genetic stock. By injecting the larvae with various microbes and potential treatments, the team can quickly gauge what treatments seem to be working. We would expect them all, all the galeria to be dead within about 19 hours. So if we come back at that time point and we still have live larvae that have been injected with the pathogen and with the extract, then we know that the extract is having a protective effect. Using these larvae, the researchers say they could cut the number of mammals labs need by up to 80%. Kevin Enix, VOA News, Washington.